Gigabyte U24T. This laptop was originally released back in December 2013. It has a fourth generation i7, which sounds tough on paper, but in reality in this model it's only a low powered dual core that runs at a base speed of 1.8 GHz and a max speed of 3 GHz. This laptop here was originally running Windows 8.1 from the factory, but I have since upgraded it to Windows 10, which I've definitely personally preferred. This machine came with 16 gig of RAM from the factory, which is still more than my main work computer and gaming computer. One disappointment with this machine is that it's running a GeForce GT 750M with 2 gig of RAM. Which when I purchased it, I was extremely excited about this machine as it had the same GPU as the Alienware laptop that I was looking at. But after a few months and a couple of weeks of playing Fallout 4, it felt underpowered. I'd done a bit more research into it and it turns out in this particular model, the 750M was actually just a rebadged 650M and not a fresh Maxwell GPU as I originally expected. The laptop is an extremely lightweight laptop weighing in at 1.75 kilos with a 14 inch screen. Originally when I first purchased this, this machine it was running Windows 8.1. That was fine but it also had a 1 terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. With this hard drive in the system it would take over a minute 30 on a cold boot before I was able to use anything on the computer. I've since changed this to a Samsung MSATA 850 EVO 250 gig SSD and now it feels like it's how it should have been running when I originally purchased it with a boot time of around 15 seconds. The display on this laptop is fine, nothing amazing, it's a 720p 14 inch LCD panel which has ok viewing angles but watching movies on it at night you have to adjust it, adjust it to the right angle before you lay down for your binge session of TV shows. The touch screen is a nice idea which I've had no practical use for. My wife on the other hand has found it great for doing uni work and finds flicking through PDF files and various digital books to be great. Overall in my year of owning this laptop it has been a great improvement over my old Alienware M11X R2 gaming laptop but I did have to make a few changes to this machine before I was happy with it. Upgrading them to an SSD is definitely a must, but in this current day and age, I couldn't imagine using a machine without one. For gaming, this machine has done me pretty well until I went to play Fallout 4, which I need to do quite a few tweaks to it and also limit the, fr the frame rate to 30 FPS for it to be acceptable, or acceptable to me anyway. And so far I've done around 40 hours of gameplay. Other games I've played on there also include Counter-Strike Global Offense, which runs at a solid frame rate, so when it's set to high detail. And also any modern indie game runs perfectly fine on there. I did also try the beta of Star Wars Battlefront. It run that at native resolution, 720p, with everything set to low. It was not pretty, but it was playable. Battery life on this laptop was what I expected. On most modern video games like Fallout 4 and Counter-Strike, I was usually getting between an hour and an hour and a half. Indie games, I was getting two to three hours. And when I'm watching movies, I can typically get between three and four hours of battery life. 